Welcome back to the channel, and I'm your host, Coach Evans. Uh, today on Sip the Talent Films, we're going to take a look at a key rookie matchup that um, kind of intrigued me when I realized who he played for and whatnot. Uh, one of the guys I thought, you know, the Ravens may have took a look at drafting, uh, Rashawn Slater, uh, against our rookie, uh, Odafi Owe, and that's the matchup we're going to take a look at. So let's uh, roll that intro. So diving right into it, um, if this is your first time here, click the like button. Uh, if you like, really like the content, uh, please subscribe and hit the bell notification so you can be notified when I drop these videos. I'm gonna get the mic a little closer. And let's let's just get with it. So what we're gonna do is I think I got five or six plays, maybe even four plays, of um OA versus Slater, and let's see who gets the, the best of this matchup. So let me identify both of them. This is OA here. This is Slater here, number 70. So let's see what happens. And the the this this player from um the new game pass is it really sucks. So that's why it looks dim and it just sucks. So he kind of ends up getting double teamed. Slater's really going to kick out, but there was no one there. So Slater really is responsible for this gap. But when he bags off, I think Houston bags off, they kind of get a double team on Oway, and Oway's kind of pitter-patting his feet and he ends up getting double teamed by 70 and 71. So Slater kicks out and Houston drops. Now his eyes go straight back to the inside. 63 is controlling whoever our nose is right here. 71 comes to help. But let's just look at Oway and Slater for the little time they are together engaged on this. Hands outside, which is holding. He disengages him and really is about to beat him. Got him off balance. Maybe thinking he was going to try to shoot him outside with that right arm since he got that C gap. And Slater kind of oversteps it. Now he's going to split him. But 71 saves it. 71 saves it. And they end up kind of pancaking our guy. Um, because of that. But we still get a did we get a sack on this for Bowser? Yeah, Bowser gets a sack on this. So really we're gonna call this one a push between OA and, and Slater. Let's go on to play two. Alright. Um Oway's here. Slater's here. Let's run it. Outside zone. Oway got the edge. Got C gap. It's not a bad, not a bad block. Cause he doesn't always doesn't get any penetration. And Slater gets to the point where he pushes Oway wide enough where the, the running back can cut up in there. Cause if you see the running back, he got that hole to hit. And possibly that hole, but you got um Avery sitting right there. So Slater does a good job of widening the hole out for uh the running back to have options. Because if he can't hook him on the first or second step, on that third step, now I'm going to run them wide as I can, as fast as I can to get the back multiple options. So I'm going to give this one to uh, Slater. All right, let's go on to play three. Play three, let's spot him out. All right, got Slater here, Oway here. He's just protecting the backside gap. That's all Slater doing. Protecting the backside gap. And Oway has backside gap, so really kind of stalemate because there's no real pass rush. It's a run play. He closes down. See, Oway really has the quarterback. He has to be as deep as the quarterback, cause especially with that C gap contained. He sees run. Sees run. And really, you know, because of the depth, that's why he was as, that deep. Because if, if the quarterback boots out of here, Oway always responsible for him. Always responsible for him. So once he realizes that the ball is actually handed off, he can now try to fight back to get to in the play. So he goes from having quarterback to now being a cutback player. So really he should, I think he should try to get underneath this. And that way if he, the guy cut it back, he'll be there to make the tackle. But I wouldn't give this a win either way. I would give this a push. And see, exactly, I didn't even realize that. Had he done what I thought he should have did, once he saw the ball handed off, try to fight back over him, he would have been right in there to make that tackle. Didn't even realize that while I was saying it. And he still didn't get but a yard or two, but I'm just, you know, since we focusing on those two guys. Let's go to play four. All right. Again, they're on the right side of the screen. 
left tackle, uh, right defensive end, or right edge guy, however you want to say it. Now we get a little pass rush. Okay. And get a little pass rush situation. Always one-on-one. -on -one. Got a quick set. No real drop. Always shoots them hands. The, the initial strength um, push didn't work. The initial strength push didn't work. Slater got a good base. He taking the bull rush. Now he drops his hips. The bull rush stop. Drops his hips. Once he drops his hips, the bull rush stop. Now, at this point, Owe needs to come with a counter move. Whatever counter move he got, whether it be spin or whatever he got, he needs to come with it. He tries to arm over, but, hey, didn't work. <laughs> didn't work this time. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to get this one to the Slater. Get this one to the Slater. Did a good job. Did a good job on that one. Rookie versus rookie. All right, play five. I do have another. So, I don't know how many more I got after this one, though. I know I got five, but I don't know how many more I got after this one. Owe. Slater here. Let's run it. Mmm. Ah, just gotta finish it. Just gotta finish it. So let, let's start over front of front of jump. Got a little quick step again. This time, play action. He's trying to see if it's play action. He got to get deep as the deepest. Trying to get chipped by the running back. The running back, no, he was checking the running back don't have the ball. So he did a good job of pulling the running back down so he can't get out. He takes that right arm and just really pulls the running back down. So now the running back is not a part of the route. Taking that left arm, still controlling, controlling Slater. Now, at this point, watch the bull rush. Watch this. I'm going to just push you back to the quarterback. And the, the, the way I like he did that, he did that while still keeping this arm free for contain in, in case – um. Herbert tried to, to, to reverse it out or boot out that way. He still got this right on free for the most part and just got that shoulder and just dropped it into him and used leverage. Used leverage. He's just using leverage to close it. Swiping at the ball, which I like. He, Herbert moves it at the last minute. He's kind of knocked off because of whoever's rushing from the other side. Is that Houston? That is Houston, yes. If Houston is not winning on the other side, oh, he probably get this sack. Because right here, he's knocking the ball out. And Houston kind of knocks him off from it. He went for the ball, which I love. He went for the turnover. Would have been a sack fumble. Sack fumble is always great. This rep definitely goes to Oway. This rep definitely goes to Oway. Even though we didn't get a sack, and he ended up getting some yards maybe, that rep definitely goes to Oway. Let's see, do I have a, a bonus one? I do have a bonus one. Okay, we got six. All right, let's see what it, let's spot him. Uh, Slater here. Oway in a, like a wide. I'm going to say that's a wide nine maybe. Nine or seven, we'll say one of those two. Hmm. More leverage on him. Started out with looking like speed. Started out looking like speed. He trying to get them kicks. He trying to get his kicks. Slater trying to get his kicks. Oh, he catches him with that foot in the air. He gonna catch him with that foot in the air. Right there. See that left foot? See right here? That foot's in the air and not on the ground. And now Slater's going to go straight that way. And look, look at the leverage that he got on him, too. Low man wins most of the time. Low man wins most of the time. Now watch him go straight back. Mm. Hold on. Right. That's a beautiful thing right there. That's all leverage. All leverage. All leverage. Right now, Slater is struggling. Struggling. Another win for Oway. You know they caught the ball, you know, on a little a timer route to on Everett. Another win by OWAP, in my opinion. Uh, do we have another one? Do we have another one? We got seven, okay. I promise you I forgot how many I got. I had. I cut this up two days ago, but I forgot how many clips I had. OA, Slater. That wide technique, but this time standing up. Stay engaged. This is look like a run play. Look, at that. Look how he popped that head back on Slater. Mm. And stand. And now he he looking out here, controlling his gap. All this gap out here belongs to, to Oway. So that's where his head's at. He controlling all that. Got, got the, the reach on, on on Slater. Slater's hands are pretty much at the right up under Oway's what's this? Triceps. 
So he really don't have a good hold on Owe. If he wants to go left or right, he he can. Especially with, with, with this hand right here. I don't know what he has on, on the other hand. Now he gets control. Now he gets control back when Owe tries to get off of him. Cause right now he's winning, still winning, still winning. Owe sees the ball, sees it going away. Now he's trying to get rid of him. That's when uh, Slater kind of gets control back on him with that hand, and we don't see Owe anymore. But I'm still not gonna count this as a loss to to Owe. His play action pass, not counting this as a loss or loss to Owe or a win to Slater. It's kind of they, you know, he rolled out away from him. And he just kept him from getting over there. So I, I, I give us some, uh, a push or a draw, so to speak. And that was it. So that was the last one for Oway versus Slater. A matchup that we'll probably see over time, especially with the, the Chargers being an up-and-coming team. Uh, we're pretty solid every year. Uh, and at, when this game took place, both teams were had one loss. So we may see this matchup you know, over the next four to five years, depending on how contracts work. But uh, I liked it. I enjoyed it. And I watched the, the whole game of those two. But these are the ones that kind of stood out to me. I didn't want to do eight, nine, ten clips. I really thought I had five, but I had seven. Uh, again, this is Coach Evans with Sip the Films. Like, comment, subscribe, share. Uh, see you soon. The next video will be talking about our running backs, our conglomerate of running backs, and how we're going to highlight what they did versus the Chargers.